Today I'm going to give you some tips to help you up your production game with some sound design tips. Let's get to learning right after that intro. Roll that intro. Yeah, I just want to see the light. Hi all, Keith here. Welcome to the video. Before we go too much further, make sure you pause the video, click that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so you might be expecting our Gatlinburg videos, but we're all out of Gatlinburg videos for now. What, what, what? But if you missed that series and want to check it out, I'll link a playlist up here. If you've been watching this for a while, you know we do how-tos every now and again, and this is going to be a how to sound design your travel vlog or YouTube video. I'm making this video mostly for people that are just starting out or who want to up the production quality of their videos. I can't go too far to this video without thanking the sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Now I've used Epidemic Sound since 2018, I believe. It's been a while. And the reason I use them almost exclusively is because I feel like they have the best library for creators out there. The best of songs for the best of times. With an immense amount of sound effects too. And with the updates they've done to the site, it's even easier to find what you're looking for. Now I'll show you the Epidemic Sound website here in one minute, but first, let's take a look at these two clips. They're about 30 seconds each, so just hang in there. All right, here's the first clip. That was pretty good, right? By the way, that track, Like Shadows, was by my favorite artist on Epidemic Sound. Oi, there's tons of great artists out there on Epidemic Sound. So that clip was, you know, pretty good, right? You know, had a nice build, and then as soon as the sound hit, right, it switched to like a faster pace, you know? And that's kind of what you want to do with sound design. That's sort of a basic overview of what you could do. But now, take a look at the second clip. better, right? It used the visual and the audio a little bit different and it added sound effects and whatnot that really helped draw you into the environments. And that's what you want to do. You want your viewers to feel like they're there with you in whatever city or wherever you are. All right, let's hop into the Epidemic Sound website real fast and I'll show you how I search and just how easy it is to find audio for your video. Okay, so here we are on the Epidemic Sound website and as you can see, there's some songs up here already that they thought he would love these based on what he's been downloading in the past. And I find that really helpful. And the same with the more of what you like section here. Super helpful, right? But they also have all these playlists down here you can search. And you know, a great one I always use too is like the now trending or like if they have like a specific one for a certain month, like in February, it's Black History Month. So they have a Black History Month playlist here. So they give you sort of like cheat sheets, you know, for finding your perfect audio track here so like I mean you know you can go into the trending thing here and one thing I do want to point out is sometimes they have explicit content if that's what you're into and this microphone right here means it has words so like they'll be singing in the audio but a lot of times if you click on a song this find some similar option over here see like here's the clean version here's the explicit version and here's the version that is just instrumental so see they have like options for you so like say you just love the the B 
beat of this song. Like, you didn't want words or say you love the song itself, but you want it to be the clean version. They give you options, and it's real simple when you click this find similar option right there. But anyway, that's just sort of like an overview of how to quickly find any great song for your video. But now let's find a few for this short clip that we're trying to sound design. And you can see my search history here. I have London because, you know, it starts out in London. So you might want to search London to see what kind of audio tracks they come up with. And you can listen to that. But in my case, I knew I wanted a track by Oi. So I just went up here and searched Oi. O-O-Y-Y. Whoops. One too many Ys. And then you can click on Artist. It always starts out like this with his latest tracks. But I, I knew the Like Shadows song was what I was looking for. So I just scrolled down here till I found the Like Shadows button. Button. And then you can click play here to preview and they have like a mini player that starts down here And I find the mini player especially useful for things like telling like whether the song's a build or if it's just a constant Go or if it's just a soft little melody or whatever you can sort of really easily see that in the waveform down here You can see it like builds to a hit and then sort of it's pretty powerful for a little bit And then drops off and then builds back to another hit and then sort of sustains it and fades out so Whatever mood you're going for it's sort of easy to find that I find in the waveforms a little bit easier than just like listening to the song itself. That's why I really love the waveform in their player down here. But enough about that. So, you know, you can just go ahead and download the song, which obviously I already did, so I'm not going to re-download it. But that's what this button is here if you click it. Now, here's one thing I'd like to point out. You can get the full mix, all the stems individually, like the melody, the bass, the instrument, the drums. But I usually just choose the full mix. But I can see where you would just want like some of the stems and you could just move it around and edit it on your own but it's it's up to you they also give you the option of mp3 or wave so whichever format you want to work with they have it now if you want to find some sound effects you come up here make sure you click sound effects here's all the things i was searching for like subway remember there was a subway scene so i wanted some ambient subway noise and look at all these subway things they have here i mean it's just insane and starts out with the drone scene which i always like to put like a little helicopter sound underneath that and just like look at all these options i mean it just pages and pages of options for every different helicopter sound you can need and that's what i'm saying they have a great audio library and that's why i absolutely love epidemic sound so make sure you click that top link in the description down there below to get your free 30 days of epidemic sound all right so we're done with epidemic sound for the moment but we're going to use the audio we downloaded from epidemic sound and hop into our video editor which i use final cut pro but the audio concepts that we're going to talk about apply to any and all video editors that you use all right let's jump into final Final Cut and start editing. Okay, you can see, click in here, and this first part is the first clip that we watched. And you can see there's not really a whole lot going on. We got the video clips here and the audio track below it. Just using the basic build here for these calm scenes, right? And then you can see right here, the hit happens. Boom. And we're on to like fast moving content, right? But that's a basic sort of way of doing sound design, which sounds pretty good. However, this next section over here is really not overly sound design, but just these few tracks right in here really add so much to it. And this is the bass audio track, The Sh Light Shadows by Oi. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the audio track out of here and play it through one time so you can get a feel for like what the sound effects are in the background because sometimes it's a little hard to hear with the audio track. So let's delete the audio track for a second. Here's the video with just the sound effects. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to need everyone to forgive the continuity break here. <laughs> There were some video issues with the recorded clip of Final Cut, so I had to redo the video. <laughs> All right. Anyway, where we left off was we were going to check out the video without sound effects. So let's do that real fast. Alright, now let's go ahead and add the audio track in. 
and check out some things in the edit here. Now you always want to fade in and fade out your audio and you can create crossfades between all of your clips real easy in Final Cut Pro with option T but you know whatever editor you're using check and see the keyboard shortcuts for crossfades but they're very important because if you don't add a crossfade or a fade in and out sometimes you'll get this popping sound and it'll be like very apparent when you're listening to your clips back so you want to always always use the fade now there's different degrees of the fade like this one was a little bit longer like I really wanted it to just build with the song so that's why this fade is so long but these are just sort of like real quick fades so that the audio comes in smoothly and also what the fade sort of does here at the beginning is it just sort of like pulls you into the scene right because the audio tracks come in see these sound effects come in before you ever see any of the actual video. So that just sort of helps bring your viewers along into the journey. It's sucking them into the video, right? Now watch, watch it. Did you feel that like pull into the video? You know, all that sort of just like, sets the scene in your mind. Okay, now along the same lines, you can see the audio here, right? Like, so this track right here is like the water sounds. And you can see the water sounds sort of flow into the next track, or the next video, I mean. And it just sort of gently fades out. And that's really a nice way to like transition people between scenes too. You don't want like the hard cut. You want it to just flow between the scenes to take the people on a journey here. It just feels a lot more seamless if you overlap the audio. So you can see the audio Audio here is overlapped into the next clip and also see this is the subway sound it comes in before the subway clip actually starts playing there another thing I wanted to point out is this audio track down here at the bottom is the talking now the talking goes you know all throughout these scenes there's people in all these scenes so it's also possible to just leave your audio down there and let one track go the entire time like this to create the ambient background noise of people talking now one of the the thing I want to point out here is just the way we faded in with the video and the audio, we fade out, watch, we fade out with the audio and the video. But I want you to listen real, real close here. Did you hear that? The voices and the ambient sound sort of kept going after the audio track sort of dies out. And what that does is that sort of brings the people back to you. But in theory, you're going to be adding this to your vlog or your, you know, whatever video you're putting out. You'll have this clip in there. So you want to sort of like bring the people back to London with you. So that's why you would kill the audio and the video and just sort of like leave that linger. And I would even like extend it a little bit further out into the next scene so it just sort of flows naturally it just sort of brings them from this time lapse scene to wherever you are on location in London. So that's some sort of quick and easy ways to use sound in your videos just to refresh. In our situation we faded in, faded out every single clip we had but you also need to use crossfades between all of your clips when you're talking and that just helps avoid that popping sound that you'll get sometimes in the audio. Make sure your audio starts before your video comes in, just a little bit, just to sort of bring people into your clip that you're showing there. And same thing, make sure you fade it out at the end of your time lapse or whatever there to make sure you bring people back to the environment that you're at. All right, I hope you like these tips. Let me know if you want me to do some more of these video editing tutorials. I had fun, except for the video problems that I had. So I'm gonna need you to share this video with your friends and smash that like button to help me feel better about all the work that's gone into creating this video. And also don't forget to check out Epidemic Sound, the top link there in the description box below to get your free 30 days to try them out. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here, but make sure you hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with some video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. 
please click that join button down there below to find out all the great benefits of becoming a member of the channel. If you got some useful tips out of this video, or you just want to keep the show on the road, consider clicking that super thanks button down there. Anyway, you choose to support the channel, we really appreciate it. Alright, say Epidemic Sound is amazing down there in the comments to let me know you made it this far into the video. Alright everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.